Hello, I'm Louis Stoll. I'm a writer and illustrator and I want to tell you about Loki, Tales of a Bad God, which is my £1 or €1.5 Euros book for World Book Day 2024. I write and illustrate funny books about mythology and magic. Loki, Tales of a Bad God is about my, part of my series on Loki. He's a trickster god, he's been sent down to earth in the form of a mortal child for pulling one too many pranks. His mission? Learn to be good. Here are a few of my previous books. This is the Loki series. Hard to hold, too many books. And I've also written books about dragons, fairies, and you might know Doctor Who. Some of them I've written the words for. Others I've written the words and drawn the pictures. The Loki series, for instance. I love doing both because a story can be told in so many different ways and when you get to use words and pictures together it's kind of a beautiful harmony of things. Often I find the pictures are a good way to show things that maybe a character doesn't want to admit to themselves and Loki there's a lot of stuff he doesn't want to admit. My top tip is to ignore everyone who tells you what you should read and just read what you enjoy. I grew up reading comics and graphic novels, and I will personally come round to the house of any grown-up that tells you they aren't real books. I won't because I'll get arrested, but that's how strongly I feel about it. I also love audiobooks. I'm naturally a very fidgety person, I don't really like sitting still, standing still, so audiobooks are great because you can listen to them when you're on the go, when you're out and about. I also love the sound of stories. Once upon a time, all storytelling was out loud, oral. So audio feels like going back to an ancient past when everyone's sitting around a fire listening to the storyteller. My favourite place to read is in bed. Or anywhere lying down, the sofa will do. I like to feel like I'm a Roma a feast, just reclining. Um, if I'm listening to an audiobook though, I like to be out and walking. For instance, there's a local cemetery that's also a wilderness and it's got wild parakeets. So you can kind of hear them through the audiobook. My favourite genres to read are sci-fi, fantasy and thrillers, you know, crime. Um, I love them as text-only books, I love them as comics, I love them as audio. Um, this year I would love to read more comics. Um, comics can be really expensive, but what's amazing is my local library has such a great selection, so every time I go down there there'll be something different. I also want to read more fact books. I read them a lot for research for my books, but I also want to read more of them for fun, just to find out about the world. I read this book recently and I absolutely loved it. It's about a non-binary kid fighting for justice. What I liked about it is it gave me a real sense of hope that change is possible and that you can make a change, even if you're very young. When I read this book, I was absolutely gobsmacked by how exciting it was. And also, I really liked that the main character is kind of mean some of the time. I like that in a character where he's got a bit of an edge, um, but it's also a kind of fantastic, pacey adventure, highly recommend. Absolutely love this book, so funny. It's about a Viking explorer called Leif. It's hilarious, brilliantly illustrated, and it also teaches you about Vikings in a really unschooly way. This book is really powerful. It's called Fight Back, and it is for older readers. It's about a passionate hero standing up for what she believes in and learning to use her voice for good. I love mythology, and I really didn't know that much about Irish myths before reading this, um, and now I just want to know more and more. It's also beautifully illustrated by Shona Shirley MacDonald.